Oops. Set those to nothing. This is just, again, this is how I'm going to shift all my tiles. I know I'm going to need a couple of functions for drawing the whole screen and draw tiles. Wait, draw a tile. I want it to be. And I'm going to be passing this the coordinates. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. I'm looping through the entire map here and drawing it. Um, because I have auto redraw turned off, I need to put something under the paint section so that it draws the screen. So it called draws the screen when you clip and cut it off with some other program. Um, Uh, for the generic tile, which I didn't add in here, this is going to represent what the tile is. So let's say something like 1 is land, 2 equals water, 3 equals rock, and 4 equals trees. Just generic like that. So we go to paint our picture, or drawing tile. I cannot, off the top of my head, remember how to do bit blending. I would need to reference other code, which is against the rules. So. I'm going to be using the paint picture method, uh, which is built right into VB, and it should work for this. I mean, it's not the it, most perfect thing ever, but it'll work because I have it memorized. So let's say um, I need to set map width. Let's just say 20 by or 30 by 30 because I typed 30 when I meant to type 20. 30 by 30 is a map, so we'll say we got to start us off for z equals one two. Three. We'll loop through the whole thing. We'll say tile equals one, which is ground. Um, the x coordinate was zero, one, two, three, and then this will be a random number between zero and two, so it'd be zero, one, and two. So these are the three alternate grounds. I did that just so that when it tiles it a hundred times, it's not easy to see a pattern. So that'll call the draw screen. Now the draw screen loops and calls all the draw tiles, and the individual draw tiles will do paint picture where I'm pulling it from. I want to draw it at uh, z minus 1 times 30, because the tiles are all 30 by 30 pixels, which I did not say. Sorry, you guys weren't there while I made it. Uh, with the 30 and 30 and I'm taking it from tile A times 30 and tile B times 30 and 30 and 30 again. Now click draw and haha sure it works. Now we, we fit the end right there. I probably should go a smaller size so that you guys can see like 10 by 10 or something. So you can see sure enough it does draw it. Now for me everything is a weird rectangle because I went with the standard 1024 by 768 resolution on my screen just for the sake of recording the video. Well, on this laptop, it stretched everything really weird. So uh, you guys will have to bear with me on that. So I'm going to change this back to 50 by or up to something high like 50 by 50. Now we can't. I'm clicking the arrow keys here, pushing them. You can't scroll around or do anything yet. So we're going to put that in. That's what these variables are for. Look A and look B. So I say, where are we at? I double click on picture and I say key press. I'm going to say if whoop, not key press. Forget that. I want where am I at? I want key down. There we go. If key code which is passed right here equals 37 which is the left arrow key then look oh wait a minute and look A is greater than zero. I don't want to go off the screen. Okay, minus one. If key code equals 39, which is the right arrow. Map width. This is that that's not quite right, but it's good for now. Plus one. And then I'm gonna copy these. 
I was actually having trouble reading the 39 looks weird just stretched out let's see here this is for the same thing with look B that's the up arrow down arrow uh, map height and look B and look B is plus one now um, call draw screen now I should be able to move Um, it's hard to tell if I'm moving. So what I need to do is make it just not grass. Let's see. What could I change one of these numbers? Well, if I shift the X's over just so that it draws these, at least we get a bunch of weird trees and stuff. Now I'm trying to move. It's not moving. What did I do wrong? Picture one to key down. Oh, this is why it's not working. I never put look A and look B into the draw tiles to shift it. So right here, minus look A, minus look B. Now some of you are going to wonder why I say Z minus 1. I've got this minus 1 in here. I want my array not to start at 0, but 1 when it's drawing. The reason for it is, see this is not point zero zero. This is uh, tile 1, 1. Because if at any point in the program it has to check the tiles to the left or above or anything, if this is zero zero, you're going to get an error because it's going to reference negative one in your array. Um, you got to put in a bunch of stuff to stop that from happening. Well, just to save myself time, I always leave um, like a border of unused values around my two-dimensional array. That way, I don't even have to worry about it. But now, because I've got these trees, I should be able to shift. And as you can see, I can now scroll. I'm, I'm watching this right here. It's a little stretch of the same, and I can see it, that it does in fact move. I can move down and over and left and up and everything. So, moving works. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, let's see, I've already got the moving. I, well, right now it's drawing a million things. When I, when I do draw a screen, what if we can only fit 20 across? It's drawing them all. So, you know, we could have a thousand by a thousand map and it's drawing them all even though you can't see them. So let's put in something here like uh, if Z minus 1 minus look A times 30. Now again, that's from the draw screen. So this is where it would be drawing the coordinates. If this is greater than negative 30, so in other words, as long if it's on the screen to the left and Z minus 1 minus look A times 30 is less than... Yeah, didn't want to do that. Dot width... So it, this means that it it currently is fitting, when it goes to draw it, it's fitting within the side to side, the right and left dimensions of the screen. And now I'm going to take this whole thing here, cut it, paste it, and for this section here, I'm going to be talking about W and look B, W and look B, and then it will be dot height, then, and I'm going to have it draw. So what this does is it's only going to call the draw tile function if it would be drawing it within the context of the screen. So now you can't tell, but it's not drawing junk over here and drawing junk down here and to the left or whatever. It's only drawing what will fit in within this box. And it automatically adjusts itself as the screen resizes. And that's done by putting stuff in the paint section, which I... here. Draw screen. It calls draw screen whenever the screen size adjusts or gets clipped. Um, drawing correct amount. We need to put in our buildings now. Some sort of buildings. Well, no, wait. We got to be able to place stuff first, because right now I got to change this back so that at least we're looking at grass, because it is grass. We need to be able to select tiles. So if I go to mouse down under the picture, let's say selected a equals the integer of x divided by 30, and 30 is the size of the tiles. And I'm going to say plus. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Plus one.